Look, I'm wearing Ryan Agola's t-shirt like a real lady. Ooh. Apparently, Campbell has dubbed this week Foreign Language Week, but I say <laughs> that. Because I only know a little bit of this language and that language, and I barely know how to speak English, I decided that I'd make up my own theme for the day. I'm gonna tell you a childhood story of mine. Thus, the black and white. One day, when I was about five years old, I was going grocery shopping with my mother. I had long, luscious, dark brown, black hair, and uh, I was walking around the store with it in my mouth. Well, this older woman who saw me doing this did not approve of that. Um, uh, she decided that she had to tell that little girl with the hair in her mouth a little lesson to scare her frickin' pants off. But, seeing as she was an old lady and I was standing right next to my mother, my mom thought it'd be hilarious to let this creepy old decrepit saggy bag of skin talk to me and even touch me a little bit. Well, either way, this old woman had a lesson for me so that I would never put my hair in my mouth again. First, she asked me if my hair tasted good. And I looked at her, terrified, and I said, yes, it does, like my shampoo. Uh, well, after that, she said, well, honey, um, you know, I used to do that when I was a girl too, and now I'm alone. She said that um, no boys would want to kiss me if I had my hair in my mouth. She told me I'd be alone when I grew up if I kept eating my hair, which would make me a very sad girl. So I guess the moral of that story, or whatever you'd like to call it, was stop eating your hair because no boys will kiss you. And unless you want to be alone and sad when you grow up, you'll stop now. Well, that was it. I mean, I, I, I don't think I kept eating my hair after that. I mean, I don't really have any now. I just... I guess I just ate it all away, um, and I don't have to really worry about the whole kissing boys part. So, life is fine. Life is great. Um, that's my childhood story. Kelly, hasta mañana.